Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I will show how to draw, rigging, animate character with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after the finished video, I will share all project files for download. So first of all, let's create a new background layer. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add the name background, click OK. And go to FX preset, let's search FX fill. Select this fill, let's use for the solid layer. And go to color cube, let's select this blue background, like this. And click OK. Lock layer and then go to here, hold this icon, select this ellipse tool and let's hold shift, make one circle like this and click session tool, chain stroke with zero, go to fill, let's click here and let's select color yellow. Okay, click OK and let's go to pen tool, then select this ellipse one, let's open inside. Select ellipse path 1, let's right mouse, convert to bezel path. Ok, select path 1 and let's select this, hold shift, move it up like this. Ok, and select this, move right, and this move to left. And this, let's change like this, ok, not bad. And click session tool, let's change name body. And move it down, then go to here, hold this icon and select this round and rectangle tool. Let's make like this and open rectangle 1, open rectangle path 1, change roughness like this and select this rectangle path 1, right mouse, convert to bezel path, select pen tool and select this path 1 and let's change like this okay not bad so click session tool and let's change name hand left and select this palm behind icon, let's move the anchor point up, click session tool, and press R, chain rotation, and move to here. Let's move the inside like this. Okay, select this hand left, control D, and right mouse, go to here, click flip vertical, and move to here, press R, chain rotation. Ok, not bad. So, let's change name and write. Ok, nice. So, in this time, let's go to pen tool and let's select this color, change white and let's make shape like this. Ok, nice. Then go to here, hold this icon, select this convert to vertex tool and make smooth. Ok, click session tool and move it down. Nice. Let's move it up. Change scale like this. Ok, not bad. So in this time, let's go to here, hold this icon, again select round and rectangle tool. Let's make one shape layer, click session tool, go to fill, select this eyedropper, select this color, click OK. And select point behind, move the anchor point up, click session tool, and move to here. Press R, chain rotation. Let's move the anchor point again here, click session tool. Ok. Let's try change scale. And in this time control D for duplicate, 
let's move to the left, press S, chain scale, press R, chain rotation, chain rotation like this. Again, control D, press R, chain rotation. Again, control D, chain rotation, and move to center. Let's hold control, click A, select all layers. Let's move to up. Nice. Close keyframe settings. And select these foot layers. Control D, let's move to up. And move to right. Okay. So, select these layers. Let's change name. Finger 1. And this finger 2 and finger 3 and this layer foot left and select these finger layers let's link to foot left and select these layers foot right and this finger 1 2 and finger 3 okay and select these fingers let's link to foot right and select this foot right press air chain rotation okay so select this layer change name age okay and go to shape layers hold this icon select this ellipse tool and let's make one ellipse like this. Click Station Tool. Go to Fill. Select this eyedropper. Select white color. And let's change like this. Click OK. And move to behind finger layers or foot layers. OK, not bad. And let's Control D. Move to here. Nice. Okay, select these layers and let's link to body. And select this body and let's create face objects. Go to shape layers, hold this icon, select the ellipse tool and let's make like this, hold shift, OK, click station tool, go to fill, select white color, click OK, and move to here, control D, move to right. I was duplicate this layer inside one shape layer. This is ellipse 1 and ellipse 2. I can duplicate these layers, control D, like this, this very easy way, and let's delete, OK. Select this ellipse tool, let's move to left. Nice. And select this anchor point. Let's move to center. Click station tool. Okay, and let's change name. Ice white. And let's control D. Press S, change scale. Go to fill color, change to black. Click OK and open inside open contents select this ellipse tool move to right and this move to left okay not bad so let's change name ice black and in this time go to pen tool hold this icon select this pen tool and let's make mods Okay, and click station tool, go to fill, select this yellow color, and move to here. Okay, not bad. 
Let's select this pump behind, move the anchor point up. Glissation tool. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's go to pen tool and let's draft object like this. Okay, let's move to here. Go to fill, select color red. Hold this icon, select this convert to vertex tool and let's make this point smooth. Okay, very nice. Click session tool and let's change points like this. Okay, nice. So character design is down and let's make simple animation. Let's go to layer, new and null object and move to here this null object, change name controller and select this body. Let's link to controller, select this hand left and hand right, link to body and select the shape layer 1 and 2 link to body it's already and foot left and foot right let's link to controller then select is eye white and eye black link to body select the shape layers link to also body okay and let's make loop animation select this body Select pump behind, move the anchor point down, click session tool, and press air, make rotation keyframe, chain rotation minus 5, Let's change minus 3, and go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in the keyboard, and change plus 3. Go to 10 keyframe again, select first keyframe. Control C, Control V, and select shape frames make easy. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's try select this H and link to body. Let's see. Okay, nice. And let's hold Alt, click this time icon, go to play button, property, and loop out duration. For down expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Nice. And select this H. Let's press R, change minus 3. And make rotation keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe, change 4 or 3. And go to 10 keyframe, change minus 3. Or let's change minus 4. Go to first second, change minus 4. Select shape frames, make easy. Hold Alt, click this time icon, go to play button, property, and loop out duration. Nice. And in this time, select this I white, Control D for duplicate, select this I black, move to inside I white layers, and click toggle switch mode, select none, choose here Alpha Mate I white 2. Then select this I white tool. Let's link to I white. Select I white. Press S. Click this icon. Go to here. Make scale keyframe. Go to three keyframe. One to three. Change scale five. Go to three keyframe again. One to three. Change one hundred. Select keyframes. Make easy. Okay. Select keyframes. Control C and Control V for random eye blink. Okay, select this I black and let's press P, make new passing keyframe. Go to two keyframe. Let's move to right and go to here, make new passing keyframe. Go to two keyframe, move to down. Go to here, make new passing keyframe. Go to two keyframe, 
move to left again here go to make new passing chip frame go to two chip frame move to center and select chip frames make easy then select these chip frames let's move to here select this move to right and this move to right let's see nice select chip frames control c go to here control v nice again control v okay so select this layer and hand left and hand right press air make rotation chip frame and go to 10 chip frame let's try change hand like this and this like this go to 10 chip frame Select first shape frame, control C, control V. Select shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, and go to fifth shape frames. Let's try change rotation like this. And this. Go to again fifth shape frames. Chain rotation. Okay, let's see. Select last shape frame, move to right, and this move to right. Okay, select shape frames, control C, and let's control V. And this control V, and here for endless animation. And also select these shape frames, control C, go to last shape frame, control V. Okay, let's see nice okay so finally let's add fear for this body hands and foot layers go to fx presses search fx roughing edge and select this roughing edge let's use for this body layer let's zoom to layer go to solo okay and let's change border 25 and edge sharpness change 6 or let's change 10 and change scale 10 okay nice and then change complexity 10 let's see okay very nice so let's unsolo body and select this roughness edge effect control c and select this hand left let's control v Select hand right, control V. Okay, very nice. And select this foot layers, foot left, finger one, two, three, and foot right, finger one, two, three, and control V. Okay, very good. So let's select this finger layer and let's try to change scale 100 and change border. Okay, let's control C this effect. Select other fingers. Select this roughness edge, control V. And this control V and this layers control V and this control V and this. Okay, nice. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.